Welcome uh, to this Lightboard session, everyone, where we're going to learn a little bit more about vSAN. In this session, we're going to really better understand what object storage is uh, as it relates uh, to vSAN and how it compares to a traditional uh, clustered file system um, uh, powering a vSphere cluster. So if you've worked with vSphere storage for a while, you've probably at some point provisioned VMFS. Uh, VMFS is a clustered file system. It's uh, arguably, I would say, probably one of the most deployed, best uh, clustered file systems ever built, particularly for the purposes of virtual machine storage um, in terms of handling those large files and large amounts of throughput and I.O. Um, and that's your unit of boundary from your provisioning. Now, there have been some tricks to try to uh, scale, you know, VMFS from a management perspective, layer things on top of it, like storage DRS and data store clusters. Um, but, you know, that, that 64 terabytes, that was kind of your limit. And clustered file systems are great, but there's challenges of keeping metadata and things in sync. It's kind of a tightly uh, unit how that lens accessed. Um, and so as a result of that, um, you know, that is kind of your, your balance. You end up with multiple of those at any scale point. Um, there's some ways around that doing things like virtual volumes, but, you know, that's its own light board. Now, with vSAN, we take more of an object storage approach to where there's a, there are disk groups and things, there's just storage pools within it that act as your, your file system points, but your unit of management, your interface is actually abstracted at an object level. And these virtual machines, when they create a, a VMDK, they create a virtual hard disk object, they actually will chunk that out into these components that will then sit across that data store. And rather than having multiple of these little VMFS boundaries, we have one data store. And your interface to management uh, of this is actually a policy engine. Yeah, no, and I think really this helps us illustrate why we chose this model in the first place for vSAN. When you think about vSAN being a fully distributed uh, storage architecture where we're aggregating the resources from several hosts, we need to accommodate for the failure uh, conditions, whatever those may be, of the resources that are actually contributing uh, to that storage. So in this case, if we were to try to say, oh, we wanted to have a clustered file system, a true file system spread all the way across all the hosts, if you had some type of failure on one of the hosts, then you're, you would be uh, suffering sort of arbitrary failures of uh, inode data, other metadata that would occur in a traditional file system. This is why we go to this sort of um, this object-based model. Now, we're still using SCSI-based uh, semantics and so forth. Uh, it's just we're representative of how we're going to place the data so that we have a smaller boundary of of of, of data um, when we compare it to a traditional file system that we would lay those that very same data down. Well, and if you think about it from, say, my decisions I make within that policy, be it RAID, be it performance, be it throttling, uh, be it data services, be it snapshotting, um, when that is a VMFS volume over here, that you can have multiple virtual machines on that. And if you are trying to do things at a granular virtual machine basis, you end up doing some kind of awkward things with VMFS of having one VM per that or using, you know, RDMs, um, if, you know, and it, which are, have a lot of operational challenges versus vSAN where your boundary of management being that individual VM or in some cases even VMDK, this means I can make individual decisions. I want to put stretch clustering on this. I want to set an IOP limiter, things like that within that policy. And I can, when I implement that, I know it's just for that virtual machine versus when, and over here, that's being done on the storage management layer where I might have to have a conversation with my storage admin. And sometimes virtual machines might actually end up in the wrong place if there's any miscommunication between those two parties. So if you would like to learn more about vSAN and our approach to not only storage and management of enterprise-based uh, storage, feel free to jump out to core.vmware.com where you can learn all, those, uh, all the latest and greatest uh, about vSAN and other VMware solutions. Uh, thank you very much.